Section 7.3, I thought we would just look at a quick simulation to remind us of what these sample means are. So we're gonna, in 7.3, we're looking at the mean and standard deviation of X bar, the sample mean. So what we're doing with sample means is we're taking an original data set. You can see it on the right side. Um, it's NFL contracts and millions of dollars. So this is my population. Notice the data goes from about zero to a little bit over 20 million. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take samples. Let's start with size 10. Um, and we're gonna find the average of a sample. The average is 3.37 and we graph the average. Let's take another sample of size 10. The average is 2.23, 2.223 and we graph it. And so we're gonna repeat that over and over. And so this is lots of samples of size 10. Notice the data only goes from about zero to five now or six. So sample means we'll have less variation. Um, the average will never be 20. Even though one person might make 20 million, the average is probably going to be closer in the 5 to 10 range, or maybe even less than 5. So this is size 10. Let's see what happens when I change it to 50. So we're going to do the same thing. Here's my population. We're going to find a sample of size 50, and we get an average of 2.194. Another sample gives me an average of 2.187. Another is 2.002, .002, and then we'll repeat that lots of times. And notice this one's even less spread out. This one only makes it to like 3.5 or 4. And so this is averages of samples of size 50. And we can keep going, like we could do size 100 if we wanted to get even bigger. So we'll generate a sample, plot the average of 2.05, plot the next average of 1.616, the next one is 2.296. So these are averages of samples. These are not individual end of NFL contracts. These are averages of samples. And so we plot it overall. And notice now it's even less spread out. It only makes it to 3.2. So what we're gonna learn in this section is how um, to find the mean and standard deviation, not of the population, but of this new sample mean. And we'll see that as sample size changes, the spread changes. So hopefully this simulation just gives us a little bit of visual to get started in this section.